afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. Um, and you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. And I always like to invite you for a warm cup of coffee. And the coffee is excellent. And some good scintillating conversation at times. So here we are today at the end of the week. It's Friday. And the time is going by so quickly. It's Friday, October the 25th. And today's weather theme, it's teeth chattering cold. Because everywhere across the country it's cold. All over the country the temperatures are below average for this time of October. And so it is in this, in our Midwest area also, as the temperatures remain 10 to 20 degrees below the normal. And Right now, though, a high-pressure system is dominant and it will spawn some dry conditions over much of the region. So we'll find highs in the 60s and that's over in all over Kansas and Oklahoma. However, we can ex ex expect some dramatic changes early to mid next week because a vigorous storm system is going to bring us some severe storms. Um, throughout the plains area. We'll probably get some of that. But right now in the square, it's 47 degrees on the sunny, clear blue skies. And the wind is at 19 miles per hour, and the humidity at 52. And for the next six hours, and all day really, we can expect a preponderance of sunshine with increasing winds. <coughs> the winds will start to rise a little bit. The temperatures will warm rapidly with highs in the low 60s, maybe topping out at 62, and the winds will blow from the south at 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we can see some changes in the next six hours. Tonight, on a partly cloudy skies, there's a 10% chance of rain and the humidity will go up some to 64%. And the low should settle in at about 46. And the winds will come from the south-southwest at 14 miles per hour. Over the weekend, Saturday promises to be partly cloudy with a 10% 10, 10 chance of rain. And the wind from the north at 15 miles per hour. And the high at 62 um, degrees Fahrenheit. And the low should be right at about 35, which is where it was this morning. 33, 35 degrees. Sunday, it should be somewhat like today, with the abundant sunshine and the wind from the south at 14 miles per hour, and a high of 69 and a low of 46, and there's no rain in the forecast for Sunday. So it should be mild over the weekend. In our community, we had a lot of birthdays yesterday, so if you didn't catch Leslie, Sandy, and Nick, Nikki, and Todd. Uh, that was their birthday yesterday. Today it's Jesse Leroy's birthday. And on the 27th, it's Mary Bright Boyle's birthday. So wish these people a happy birthday as you see them or give them a call and celebrate with them their special days. Tomorrow, we want to announce funeral services for Gordana Cole. Gordana passed away on October the 11th in Loma Linda, California. She was a member of the First United Methodist Church, and so the funeral services will be held there tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. at the church, which is located on 801 First Avenue. At 5 p.m., there will be a celebration of life at Mona's Coffee in Seward, Kansas. And the memorials are suggested for the Golden Belt Humane Society and First United Methodist Church. So I'm sure the family would um, appreciate if you come and celebrate with them at the both occasions tomorrow. Also tomorrow, um, there's going to be the pizza and movie we've been talking about. At five o'clock, the Bus would meet and go over to Poppy's Pizza. And at 6 o'clock, it would leave for Great Bend and to 
at the new movie I write about seven o'clock. And there's several different movies at that Golden Bell Cinema. You can go to a movie of your choice. Uh, the cost is only $20, so come out for some excellent pizza at Poppy's Pizza. They make great pizzas and a fun time at the movie in Great Bend. Tomorrow also, it's drop, Drug Take Back Day. Drug Take Back Day. You can drop off your drugs at the... Um, the hospital and this is being sponsored by the Stafford City Police so if you have your um, prescription drugs that are outdated or unwanted this is a great opportunity to to discard of them so you can clean out your medicine cabinet cabinets or your little boxes that you keep your medication in and take it over to the Stafford County Hospital from 10 until 2 and they'll be happy to take your drugs and discard them properly. And so if you need some help with that for more information, just call the health department at 620-549-3504 and they will be happy to help you with that. Tomorrow also is the last day of the Friends of the Library week. They have been celebrating Friends of the Library over this past week from October 20th to the 26th. And the Friends of the Library Week, this is an annual um, recognition week that it started about seven years ago. And the Library Association really wants to recognize those people who volunteer their time to come in and help with the library and to donate them funds really um, to buy books for the children. And they do different programs for the children. They, do, they have a summer reading program which is quite interesting. And so they um, want to recognize those people who help. So this tomorrow is the last of the uh, um, Friends of the Library week. And this year's team, it has been nomination, nomination. And like I said, they, you probably have seen those gnomes around the yards and in the library. And that is to remind us to buy a membership for the library. And you can get a membership for $10 for single and $15 for a double. So please visit the Ida Long Goodman Library at 405 North Monroe and get your 2014 memberships in. And when you do, they will give you a gift certificate certificate for coffee uh, or a cappuccino so please do that and help the library along on Sunday October the 27th is Hans Puppet uh, they will be performing at the Hudson Community Hall and this Hans Puppet uh, will be in performance uh, for about 40 minutes uh, that's the length of the puppet, puppet show. And they are doing this to help the Operation Christmas Child. And this um, Operation Christmas Child is sponsored by Samaritan Purse Ministries. And they do a wonderful job of collecting shoebox. They're asking you to fill a shoebox with Christmas presents for children any ages really. And they will take these and um, collect them and distrib distribute them all over the world. So the His Hands Puppet are doing this to help that ministry. The performance um, is action packed and it will be full of good humor and just nice clean fun for the whole family. The doors will be open at 6 o'clock and they will start right at 6.30. Um, there's no charge but your generous free will donation will be happily accepted. So call over at the Trinity Church at 620-458-5300 for more information. So we have a lot of things that we can do this weekend in the community. And then come Monday, um, it's warm up for the winter. Uh, on Monday, October the 28th, our local school district 
is sponsoring a warm-up for the winter event. The USD 350 will host a cult for kids on Monday from 3 until 9 p.m. So if you have coats, used coats in your closet or new ones too, I'm sure we'll, that they will accept them. If your child has outgrown a coat, a warm coat for the winter, you're invited to come and um, donate a coat or if your child needs a coat more than that if your child needs a coat they can have a coat from that um, event so please um, this is a nice warm gesture so bring the children out to collect a coat or donate a coat so mark your calendars november is right around the corner um, not this weekend but the next weekend will be falling back for the weather changes um, but so mark your calendar for November the 6th and that will be the Maxwell Christian Church they are having their soup and supper bazaar I love this time of October where all the churches have these lovely soups and bazaar events and good healthy eating and great fun and the Maxwell Church is having theirs on November the 6th at 5 p.m. Uh, there's no charge, but a free will offering will be taken, a free will donation if you so desire to give one. And it's a chili and vegetable soup, chicken noodle soup, and homemade pies. Lots of good eating homemade pies. Um, and there's also a, a raffle of a hundred dollar meal bundle they will raffle that and the tickets for the raffle um, is a dollar and six, six tickets for five dollars so come and support that worthwhile effort and if you need the meal delivered they'll be happy to deliver it for you so just call over at 620-348-3205 or if you need a delivery. So that's at Maxwell Church, mark your calendars. Uh, just want to remind you again about open enrollment um, for this time of the year, uh, for the Medicare Part D. I've been digging into it myself, find out what changes one has to make for your, um, your insurance, if the formula for the company has changed, if your own circumstances have changed, if you need some financial assistance, there's somewhere you can get that, or if you don't need a financial assistance and has been getting it, all of those changes need to be made. And this is the time to do it between October the 15th and December the 7th is the open enrollment time for that Part D. So remember that. Uh, and for more information, you can call over at the Southwest Kansas Area on Aging and 1-800-742-9532. Uh, That's a toll-free call or 620-225-8230. Call the SWACA and they, somebody in the office there will be able to handle your questions and help in whatever way you need some help. And today um, at the Maxwell Center, they are serving up for lunch salmon loaf, potato rounds, um, Harvard beans with bread and strawberry and banana pie. How interesting that that is for lunch today. So. Um, on Monday, they'll be serving Sloppy Joe peas, um, a coffee cake, bun, and a tropical fruit salad. And on Tuesday, they'll be serving turkey, um, mashed potatoes, gingered carrots, bread, and ambrosia. Sounds very enticing. So do call over at the Maxwell Center if you want your lunch deliver to you somebody will be there to do that for you and similarly over at the sunflower center they're serving today 
um, chicken strips, mashed potatoes with gravy, seasoned peas, carrot coconut salad, and a fresh fruit cup. And on Monday, they'll be serving Hungarian pork chop, seasoned noodles, buttered chuck wagon corn, fresh vegetable salad, jellied fruit cup, and the usual tea and coffee and milk. And on Tuesday, they'll be serving a pepper steak, steamed rice, seasoned winter mixed vegetables, green salad dressing, a lemon bar, and tea and coffee. All very appetizing. I suddenly get hungry when I read that menu. And today, we have a poem for the day. A poem for the day. What are the little things in life that really give us pleasure? Can we name them one by one, or do we have to measure? Each wounding thing that happens, each, each hurt we have to bear, God is the one, the only one, who seems to care. He catches every teardrop and mend each broken heart and does not waste a minute, he does it from the start. And that poem is from Nancy French, and she's the poetess of Pratt. So if you have your poems and would like us to read them, do send them in. Have a good weekend, and don't forget to attend all our activities in our community this weekend.